Hello my little gems and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the videos, quick do the old spill. Haven't already, please subscribe, I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below what you think of my latest spares idea. And if you enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. So yes, a uh, big spare project as I have been hinting and saying for you guys. I'm really excited to get this done. And I'll be thinking about how I'm going to do this. And I thought, right, my storage for my diamond paint stuff isn't that good right now. And so I thought, why not turn a chest of drawers into my diamond paint storage stuff? Which I thought would be a really good idea. So, um, chest of drawers I've got. It's got five small drawers like this. And then five drawers that are about that long going down. All in one chest of drawers. So yeah, I thought that'd be ideal for like putting all pens in one, all trays in another one of these little ones and stuff like that. So basically all my accessories in the smaller ones and then dye painting kits and other stuff in the bigger drawers. And I thought, right, what I can, how am I going to do this and everything else? So as you can see, I've already taken off the, um, I've got to start already. I have cheated a little bit last night, but I wasn't in the mood to record the intro last night. So I've cheated a little bit. So what I've done is I'm taking off all the the knobs to the drawers and I'm going to um, decorate them with um, the crystal rhinestones, the mixed ones that Louise uh, very kindly from Crazy Borgie sent me. So all the handles are going to get covered with them. And I was thinking, right, what I'm going to do is like a pattern, like so, and then like, like a box type, pattern thing and what I'm going to do here though is write like pens on this drawer and then trays on the next one and also you know so it just gives a bit of organization I think which I think would be a good idea especially like with like people they send me all this trays and pens and everything because I don't want them to go in the bin and they know that I will think of another way to use them and stuff like that so that is the plan. So yeah, and obviously I'm gonna cover the top and everything off the chest of drawers. So it's gonna be a big project, but I think it's gonna be good. And what I was thinking was doing the, maybe I'll just do a square like so, or maybe just do a line. And then I can obviously put tools here, like write the letters tools and then just have this plane and just have a strip of maybe colour drills there going across the middle. I don't know. I just, you know, I'm playing with ideas, but I think it's going to look really good when I'm done. And obviously I'll measure it up and everything, make sure the drawers are level so that it will just keep running. So yeah, that is the plan of what I'm planning to do. So yeah. So I'm not going to waffle anymore because obviously I've waffled for way too long. So let's get cracking into this, shall we? Right, so the first thing we are going to do is remove the handle. So remember this, this little phrase, those don't do much unscrewing or screwing up with a screwdriver or Phillips. It's lefty loosey, righty tighty. Itchy so. nose. So there is our drawer, handle this off, I'll leave the screw in a bit just so it doesn't get lost, so I think I've lost one already. And now I need my pencil and I need my ruler, my old tatty ruler, I don't like to use a decent ruler like when I'm using the B7000 glue for like to get things um like i'll line this up to start the drills off so what i need to do is just line it up with the edge and then just draw a line i'm just going to use the width of the ruler it saves me messing around trying to get do certain measurements and all stuff like that. I 
And just make your way around your drawer. So this drawer has like a little bit of like lip there, like a little angle. And that's what I'm lining up with. What do I do? Um, how I'm planning on doing it is I'm going to mask off the edges to make a nice square, black square in the middle. And then I'm going to do multicolored all around the edges and then do the handle in a shiny multicolored. I think that's going to look really cool. Did I get that right? Not quite, quite, going a little bit wrong there. Well done, Gemma. There we go. And then masking tape. I do need to go and get some more. I am going shopping tomorrow, so I'll pick some up from Powerland. Then we just line up your masking tape. This is how I'm doing it. You don't have to like paint the middle or stuff like that. You can just easily, if you want to, just cover the whole thing in mi mixed. Obviously, you need to make sure you've got enough of them to be able to do it. But I just thought this is going to look really nice. here is all nicely stuck down all right, I'm gonna be painting the edges so as long as like the main square I, I, then I've got a guide to um, what's the word I'm looking for to line the drills up with you know as I'm going I'll go from the inside from the inside outwards if that makes sense like so and then let's get my paint I got ready and you think I'm just using a um a matte um, furniture paint it's stuff I already had so I haven't had to go out and buy it I'm just gonna get it's gonna be dry because I was testing it out earlier to make sure it was usable and everything and it was but I do need to put some more in the old Just cover. The inside.
So I thought to myself, I know a lot of people tend to mix up their spare drills, which is absolutely fine if that's what you want to do. Because I know it makes it easier to store and everything. If I turn that like that, then I can just show you guys just doing the edge. This bit doesn't have to be perfect. That looks good, so we're going to let this dry and start on the handle. Put it in a bag or something, just keep it from drying out, basically. And we're going to put that to one side, leave the masking tape on until it's dry, and then you tell I have cats because of blinking cat fur flies everywhere the joys of hand cat especially a white one right so yeah we're gonna leave that to dry and then come back to that once it's dry so we're gonna get cracking on with the handles all right right so next we are going to go on to the and do the handle and we're going to use the crystal cat tail again i get everywhere i'll tell you um I'm going to use the crystal. I've got a whole ton of them. Um, Louise, bless her. I know I've already mentioned this before. Some crazy borgies. I've got even more bags. But she sent me a whole ton of these ones. And the normal. And I thought, right, they're mixed. So I'm just going to do them all together. I could just do one colour on the handles. But I think it looked really nice like if they were all multicoloured. Glue, we still, we're going to be using the old B7000 glue. I've got this one from Amazon. You can get it from AliExpress a bit cheaper. But I find when I'm ordering from when I order it from AliExpress, it gets stuck in customs. And my last lot I got from AliExpress got stuck in customs for two months before they released it. So I was like, do you know what? Save all that waiting and everything. I'm just going to order it straight from Amazon. You know, it's only, I think, about like two, three pound more. And it saves you all that hassle. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just order it straight from Amazon. I think it was about... I think it's about £10. So, it's not that much. And it was the biggest one. So, it's the 110 mil, And this stuff lasts ages. I mean, ages. So, yeah. So, you need your B7000 glue. Because it st sticks like cement. We can still varnish when we're done. I'm debating on doing that. I'm not sure yet. I'll see how tough the drills have glued on once i have finished it so yeah so we're going to start from the bottom edge i'm just going to do one row at a time this will be the most fiddliest part of the whole thing Back in, get our pen, and we're going to start from the bottom. If we do it this way, I can see the edge better. And we're just going to work our way round the whole thing. 
I'm just picking up random colours. I'm not paying attention to what colours I'm picking up. So I think what I will do, I'm going to go on to the old time lapse. I hope you don't mind. And then you can still see the whole process, but in like, oh, <laughs> stick it to myself. Um, you can still see the whole process, but a lot quicker than what it's going to take me. Because otherwise I'm going to be sat here for about two, three hours. It doesn't take a lot of time to do these spares projects. It really was does. So that's why I thought, right, I have a week of work. I am going to start this when I have a week of work. Because then I know I've got more time than usual to do it. So, all right. So I'm going to go to time lapse and you guys can watch it in super quick speed. All right. So the handle is done, what do you think? Really shiny and everything, so I think that's going to look extremely good on the drawers. Yeah, and I've done a couple more. So yeah, I'm at this many so far. So next we are going to go onto the drawers and they should be dry. I've still got a whole other time that I've taken off so yeah I've still got some still to be taken out of the um chest of drawers itself so yeah I've still got quite a few drawers to do but we will get there there's no rush you know I haven't got to get it finished this week or nothing you know I'll just take my time and enjoy the process so next we are going to go on to the drawers all right on to the putting the drills on the drawer okay <laughs> right okay let's let's go over to them all right right so let's take off the masking tape oh i'm boiling now i've just done a load of um hoovering right so quite not perfect, but they are pretty good, I personally say. Like so. It doesn't matter if this one here, this, this edge goes slightly over because I want the drills to go right to this edge. And then we've got a nice square, more or less straight in the middle. So, oh, I'm really hot. Right, so I'm going to get my drills, get my tray and everything, and we're going to start on this bit, all right? Right, so for this next bit, we need our ruler. We need our drills. We need all the cat hair that seems to be just sticking to me today. Don't ask me why. I just seem to attract it today. And then we need our B7000 glue. Obviously, you can use other glues, but obviously, I just find B7000 glue best for me. But obviously, you guys might find something that works better for you. So, what we're going to do is use our ruler. Line up at the edge and then put on our 
B7003. Just put the um, lid back on. And then for this, I'm using normal mixed drills. And we use the ruler to make the line nice and straight. This is the most fiddly part, I would say. Obviously, the um, doing the drawers are quite fiddly because there's one that just will not come off. I mean, the drawer handle, sorry. But... Once we've got this row done, the rest in theory should go on quite nicely. And also, when you're, if you decide to do the same type of thing I'm doing, make sure you do one of the long edges last because trying to put your ruler here and you've got drills here and here is a real pain in the bum to do. So, yeah, that is just a little tip. Once we've done this inside bit, it'll be a lot easier. So same process again, go to your edge of your ruler, stick it down. Like so. But again, if you've got a whole ton of one colour, it will also work very nicely. And also, this will also work with scrap drills, but I'm pretty sure I had way more round and I didn't want to run out. So I thought, do you know what, Gem, just stick to the rounds. You know you're not going to run out of them because you've got so blinking many. I've got a cat that's appeared. These guys. Let's pull this down. Line it. B7000 blue on the edge. Like so, oh, one's come off. And then another one.
so and then you just put carry on around the full edge so we'll come back in a minute once i've done the full edge and then we'll carry on for a bit more okay right so i've been working on this for a while <coughs> as you can see i've got a couple of rows left on the outside so all i've been doing is just basically making my way around the edge just make going out and out and out and out exactly as i'm doing it now it is a bit of a slow process but you know these spares ideas are never usually like a very quick process you know especially these slightly bigger ones But I do think it's coming along really nicely. You can see it's taking its shape. And you just got to basically make sure. Where's my other pen from there? I'd lose my mind, if it, my brain, if it wasn't, my head, if it weren't screwed onto my neck half these times, I think. to here occasionally does that and I'm not being specific with colours I'm just grabbing any old colours that's just lined up on the tray And uh, yeah, just slowly making my way around. So I've basically got have six lots. Six. Yeah, still only like six on there. But it's definitely coming really nicely. I'm I'm pleased with how it's looking so far. I just want to update and just show her a bit more how it's going and everything else. I just literally chunky chill there. You just literally keep working your way around until you get to the edge. Right, so I have done all the outside, all the multi colours there. Now to put on our top or her handle.
and there we go it's all on what do you guys think i think it looks really good i think the whole lot done like this is going to look so effective i really do so yeah let me know down below in the old comments what you guys think or how i've done so far i'm really pleased with it really really pleased i think it's really nice so yeah so come that is it for this week's video i'll show you the whole process i hope it's not too long and everything so yeah come back next week and we'll be carrying on and everything uh with the drawers so yeah so thank you ever so much for watching and i'll just don't forget to be, give me a big thumbs up comment down below what you think of this spares project and if you haven't already please subscribe i really appreciate it so yeah thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye everyone